am going to film a nursery tour because um, as some of you know if you follow me on Instagram I completely redid the nursery a couple of weeks ago um, probably about three weeks ago and I've been waiting to get used to it to make sure this is the way I want to keep it and I think that this is um, I'm really enjoying it so I wanted to go through and show you while it's clean because I know it won't stay clean very long um, all the new stuff I have so there's gonna be parts of it where the lighting's a little off that's just because this window right here is open that's my backyard that's my niece's um, both of my niece's swing set that is like I don't know what they did that for swing what is it doing I don't know um, and then look back there y'all that is a pond right here it's a drought in Alabama right now cannot remember the last time we had rain and um yeah there's been like wildfires and stuff and I live like in the woods as you can see there's like woods all around me and so every time there's a wildfire I'm like crap <laughs> because it headed this way because it's so dry once it catches it spreads so fast it's crazy so yeah we're dealing with that right now in Alabama but anyway nursery tour um let's start on this side so we'll go from the top to the bottom this right here is a um like a metal hanger kind of deal um it's just a piece of metal on a, a string basically and i got it at michael's for like three dollars i thought it would be perfect for magnetic passies I just love it for magnetic passies and they have them in all different shapes um there's a heart shaped one there's a circle one they have all kinds of cool stuff so if you're looking for something to store your magnetic passies on definitely look at michael's because i didn't have to put the string on it or anything like it came like that already so i think it's pretty cute i'm actually going to go through and show you all the things i'm not just going to show you like you know broad range i'm going to show you like each individual thing i have for my babies so, on the top right here, those two are Playtex passies for Conrad. I kind of have Caitlin's this way, Conrad's that way. Then these are the two passies they came home with. And then I have just a few MAM pacifiers. I love MAM pacifiers. I think they're super cute. They just don't fit on Caitlin's face very well. They're not as curved as the Playtex pacifiers are. I believe this is new. I'm not sure. Um they're more straight so that you can kind of see if you're at an angle from her face you can kind of see the magnet so I don't really like that but on Conrad's face they fit fine and then this new pacifier is the free pass you get when you register at Target right here we have some floating shelves that I got from Michaels um, when you purchase them they're just wooden and I actually um, painted them by hand and then I went over and spray painted them just to make sure that they were um, covered pretty well and right now the only thing I have in these are booties that I think are super cute um, and that I think should be on display but once I get more Winnie the Pooh stuff I think I may put like some Winnie the Pooh figurines or something in there I think that would be cute um, up here we have a like classic T.Y. Teddy and then down here is like a classic T.Y. Bunny those were mine when I was little, so that's why they're in here. Then I have this pumpkin right now. Usually there would be another stuffed animal there, but um, I have the pumpkin for Halloween, obviously. And it lights up, but I dropped it and broke it, so it doesn't work. But I got it at Target. They have white ones and orange ones, and they have all different um, sizes and stuff. So they're, they'll be really cute night lights because they are battery operated. And then babies and the bassinet um Conrad's just hanging out right now waiting on me to get done talking so that he can eat that bottle he's holding and then Caitlin is asleep she was awake and acting like she was hungry but I'm talking so much that she got bored apparently um let's see let's see what I want to talk about next um Okay, so this little bunny right here, um, my grandmother made when she was still alive a long, 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 long time ago. And um, it's also sentimental. I think it's so, I think it's important to me 
I don't know about everybody else, but to me, I think it's important to add sentimental pieces into nurseries, um, even reborn nurseries. I think it just makes it more fun, you know? I don't know. This was my niece's when she was little, and so um, that's another sentimental piece, I guess. Um, this is their blanket they sleep with pretty much every night because it matches the theme, the Winnie the Pooh theme. It has Winnie the Pooh, it has a jar of honey, it has Piglet. Let's see. Here's Piglet. Um, it has little bees on it. Got it from Amazon for $4, five dollars something like that. Um, and then the bassinet. This is the bassinet. I got this bassinet from a community yard sale at a church nearby. Um, I paid $40 for it, and I said whoever had this must have just had baby dolls in it because it's still brand new, basically. It's still bright white. Right here, I have my um, Winnie the Pooh nightlight for the babies. Let's turn it on and see if you can see anything. Yep, Winnie the Pooh nightlight. Um, also from Amazon. Right here is just their dirty clothes hamper. Um, they just need a little one because if their clothes get dirty, I pretty much wash them as soon as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, this was three dollars at Target. And they had a bunch of them. I think they would be um really cute for um like if you put if you knit, you put or you crochet, put your yarn and stuff in there. I just think that would be really cute, and they have them in all different colors and stuff. You can't really use it as a waste basket. I mean, I guess you could, but um, you would have to line it, and then that would kind of defeat the pur defeat the purpose. <sighs> can't talk. Defeat the purpose of the cute little like um, chevron design in it. But it's cute for storage. Um, and then we'll go down here to there. Um, here, I'll back up and show you. This is the shelf I got to put the majority of the baby's things in. Um, Brady got it at Walmart for $33 or something like that. Like the shelf was $33 and then the, the like the pull out part, like the drawers, um, the little inserts, they were like $4 each. Target has some of these and their boxes are cuter, but of course they're more expensive. And I just thought, is basically the same thing. So, I went ahead and got it at Walmart. Okay, we'll start on Conrad's side. Conrad is a new baby, so he doesn't have as much clothes as he probably should, um, but we're making it. So, on that side, I have long sleeve onesies, and on this side, I have sleepers. So, he's got a, he's got a couple things in there. I'm not gonna go through all the clothes. I'm just gonna show you what I have where. And then, ooh, these are messed up. Let's see. There we go. On this side, I have his pants and then short sleeve onesies. And then up here, these are extra bottles. I'm selling these bottles um, if anybody wants them. I don't like them because I prefer bottles that have a bigger um, nipple on them. I'll show you what I mean with this bottle. See how the latch bottles, the nipple at the bottom is bigger? That's what I personally prefer, but I know a lot of people like the Avent bottles. And they're already sealed, so if you're interested, um, let me know. I think I was selling them like for $4 or something like that. Um, because they're like brand new. I just sold them in the child amount. I was like, yeah, I don't like them. So I was going to try to see if another reborn mommy wanted them before I threw them away. But um, comment on Instagram or below if you're interested in those bottles. I have two of them. So I have that extra bottle right there. I have his two bibs, which this one he came home with. And this is a Christmas one. And then we'll pull this out. This um, little insert, plastic insert, I got at Target and they were also $3. So on this side I have socks and scratch mittens. 
on this side, I have all of his hats. These two hats are the froggy and the bear hats. Like, they match the booties I was talking about, I was talking about earlier. And, um, they're from Etsy. I'll list the Etsy shop below where I got them from. But they're really super duper cute. There's more pictures of my babies in those on Instagram. Um, so yeah, we'll start down here now. Look at all the clothes Caitlin has compared to him. Poor Conrad. But, um, I've had Caitlin for four years. And see, my thing is, I don't ever want to have more clothes than can fit in these two. You know, like, I just feel like I would rather keep it at a minimum so it's easier to keep up with and, you know, get rid of clothes. That's the fun part. It's buying clothes, and then you don't like it, and you get rid of it, and you get new ones. And I constantly am always buying secondhand clothes and selling them again, so. Um, this is just a, uh, a jacket. And then on this side I have sleevers, and on this side I have like long sleeve onesies and, and such. Moving on, I can get this back in there. Here we go. Um, this one is not quite as full as the bottom one, but we have onesies on this side, and pants on that side. Okay, and her little insert is this exact same socks, um, scratch mittens. I love these little scratch mittens. They match that hat. And then hats on this side. Um, let's see now. The extra Advent bottles back there because I'm going to sell it. And then her couple of, of bibs. Okay, and then on the sides, on Caitlin's side, she has her diaper bag. And this diaper bag is so old but i think it's so cute it was handmade by a lady um around here there's a i live close to a state park and they have like a um like a trade show kind of thing every month where vendors come out that sell handmade items and it was this old lady who made these and i thought it was so cute i bought it years ago and it's held up so well to be handmade so um i keep a this little passy container a jacket and this is the sling I carry Caitlin in sometimes in here just so I'll, I'll never like forget it. Um let's see hang this back up on her little hook. Where's your hook? There it is. Okay. And then this side this is Conrad's diaper bag. I got this diaper bag for free from Target when I signed up for the registry finger. Bobber. <laughs> um, it's really cute. It's like chevron, kind of chevron on this side, and like arrows on this side. It's a really cute bag. And then again, I have a pacifier holder for him. Um, just extra baby wipes that I also got for free in the toy bag. And then um, down here, I have a jacket for him. All right. Up here. Okay, so on this side I have blankets. Um, this is the blanket Caitlin came home with, and then another just receiving blanket, and then this is the blanket Conrad came home in, and then this is the two elephant blankets. So that's Conrad's elephant blanket and Caitlin's elephant blanket. Brady loves elephants, so like anytime I see something elephant, I think I should get it because he would like it too. So. <laughs> Let's see. What do I want to show you next? Okay, we'll start back here. This is my Dr. Brown's bottle cleaner. I'm just going to stick it back there. Pay no attention to my nails. I've been peeling them because some of them broke and it made me mad to like screw y'all. Um, and then I have my, I have three latch bottles. He has one. I have three of the eight ounce latch bottles and they're my favorite. I love these bottles. I got them on Amazon and a pack of three for $19, $15. I know if you buy one at Target, it's $10. So it was a really good deal to get three. So he has one and then here are the other two. I really love these bottles. I think everyone should try. So this is the four ounce bottle. I do like the four ounce bottle. At first I really, really loved it. It was my favorite bottle. And then I thought, um, well, I'll try the 8-ounce bottles, and I like those even better. And this is just the cap to the one that Conrad has. 
Woo, it's a lot of talking. My asthma's acting up. I'm sorry I had to stop the video for a second because um, my doctor's office called to let me know that my Humira shot was approved by my insurance. Um, so if any of you have ever tried Humira, let me know. I've heard that the, the shots hurt really bad, but I don't know. You know, everybody's pain tolerance is different, so I'm kind of nervous about it. But I've already done methotrexate shots, and so I'm pretty used to it, I guess. So maybe it won't bother me as bad. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have a really rare chronic illness um, that I won't get into right now. But if anybody does want to learn about it, let me know. I'm just not going to talk about it unless somebody wants to know. Because I don't, you know, I just don't feel like getting into it. Um, anyway, Honest Diapers. I love these diapers. I think this was a really good deal, especially if you are a reborn collector because you don't want to buy a whole, um, whole package from Honest or from Target or wherever you get your Honest diapers from. You don't want to do that because then you just have one design. I know I wanted like a variety. So I found a variety pack of 16 diapers for $19 on Amazon and they came with half boy, half girl kind of deal. So, so yeah, if you want honest um, diapers, I'll definitely get them from Amazon because then you could have a bunch of different designs, not just one. And I have two packs of honest wipes that I got for free in the Target bag, one I got from Target for 99 cents. And I really like their wipes. And then right here, I kind of have like some baby cleaning supplies and then I have their formula. Formula here, I have like some lotions and stuff right there. These are samples of butt paste and something else. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's um laundry detergent. And then right here, I have toothpicks and Q-tips to clean like the little tiny bitty parts. Now the Q-tips, you don't want to like stab obviously because you could poke a hole but if there's like a tiny little speck of dirt or something like in the corner of their eye you can very gently get it out with um a toothpick and you won't hurt them because it drives me crazy like in those little creases they get stuff sometimes and like i'm one of those people where i want them to be perfectly clean all the time they have like a little speck of dust it drives me crazy um so then back here these are like the sealer things for if you're traveling with bottles. Um, I got those with my latch bottles, so that's good. Baby powder, and then just a baby cloth back there. And I think that's everything, you guys. Is that all of it? Oh, no, no, no. The um, boppies are, I keep under here because I feel like they're just better out of the way. But yeah, other than that, that's it. So, I'll give you a look at it one more time. You know, it's not a huge nursery, but it, I like it this size. If it was any bigger, I would get over when I'm trying to clean it and stuff. I like that it's simple, minimal work, you know. Maybe one day I'll have more stuff, but I really like the size I have now. So, let me know what you guys think. Alright, Conrad, you ready to eat now? Are you ready to kill me for talking so much? Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my nursery. Um, kiss your babies for me. Have a great day. Bye.